right. one might be like an I'm just gonna look at the doorknob right there. No, okay, I'll look at your face, I guess. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa Heller. I'm a senior at Colgate University. We crave plastic candy rings from grocery store. Cheap vending machines. I'm from Connecticut. I'm also a singer-songwriter. I write all my own music, and I plan to move to LA or New York. I was going through such a hard time in high school where I felt really alone and stressed constantly. At the time, I didn't know I had anxiety because like what 14-year-old realizes that they're going through something so serious. I was extremely lucky that around that time, my great aunt's piano got passed down to my family. It was an upright Steinway, and it was absolutely amazing, and it was right at the perfect time when I was going through such difficult times in my life. Writing became something that I was able to do when I was really stressed, and I don't know if I'd even be here today if I didn't have music. So being an artist at a liberal arts school is always going to be something different than everyone else. I can say that there are not a lot of people trying to do what I'm trying to do. Most of my friends already know what their jobs are for the next five years. Like they have a very set career and it's very secure. And being an artist, you never know what's going to happen next. So it's definitely scarier. I'd say it's more exciting. I always knew that I could not do a cubicle job. Um, I've actually written a song about that. I, just, I can't do what other people do. It's definitely different from everyone else where I think that they're taking specifically what they learned in school and they're going into a job for it. And I'm definitely going off of the beaten path. I'm on my way to TIA, which stands for Thought Into Action right now, and it's an entrepreneurship program here at Colgate. It's helped me so much in networking with other Colgate alums and overall just networking in the music industry in general. Some people have a hard time understanding, especially because I'm going to a school that's not really near a city or anything, but um, I'm excited to see what happens next. I sung that high part in like two years. In two I, years? No, that, like a year. That part right there. Yeah, because I I changed it because I thought it sounded bad in my voice. Yeah. So I instead was going, Been hiding all these years Behind the firewall Behind the firewall If we light the fire But I won't heed We're brothers and sisters Come march the street So when I released my first official music video for Hope, I didn't really expect it to do very well anywhere because I didn't really have a fan base yet. I was just starting out. It was just the start of my career though. Um, it's not like my whole career completely took off from that, but I did get so many more opportunities from my video getting now over one and a half million views. And um, because of that, I've been able to play all these shows and do all these exciting things that I think I wouldn't have been able to do as like a brand new artist otherwise. So I just got back from South by Southwest and I was able to perform three times within a 24 hour period, which is really cool. When I was there, I ended up meeting so many amazing people in the industry. That kind of made me want to move to LA. I've been going back and forth between LA and New York for the whole time I've been in college practically. My parents have definitely tried, especially my mom has like definitely tried to push me to go 
New York because New York is much closer to Connecticut. So I have had a hard decision, but as I've grown older, I've realized I need to make the right decision for my career. And I'm a little scared about it because it's so far away from what I know. And I've never lived anywhere except for the East Coast, but I do feel like that might end up being the right decision. Over time, I've realized, especially with someone with anxiety um, and constantly being a little uncomfortable, that it's okay to be uncomfortable and you have to kind of accept it. And it's the same way with music and a career where it's not a set path. You have to learn how to accept that my career and my life might take different twists and turns, but it's all exciting and it's okay to be a little bit uncomfortable because that's what makes life interesting. Holding on to hope, hope for the best. Hope for the rest of our life to the day that we die. Hey, this is Lisa with an update. Since we last spoke, I graduated from Colgate and I moved out to Los Angeles. I'm actually in Connecticut right now due to coronavirus, but I hope to be back in LA soon. I just released my debut EP, The Lisa Heller Project, last month, and I have new music coming soon, including a single on June 19th, and I'm also working on my debut album right now. I'm just super excited and I can't wait to see what happens next.